Hey everybody, it's Sean from the Canadian Brew Channel. Uh, sorry I've been away for about uh, three weeks or so. I uh, haven't done any videos. I was actually on a cruise down the Southern Caribbean and it was a great time. I'm back. I'm glad to be back so I can start brewing again. But what it did is, uh, it was at five different islands I went to and a few of them I was able to go and, you know, talk to local people about what beers were most popular uh, on the islands. And I did some little quick reviews on an iPhone and I put them together for you guys to enjoy. So with no further ado, I'll put the videos in a row here and I hope you guys enjoy them. And uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, tuning in. This is Sean for Canadian Brew Channel. Cheers. Hi everybody, this is Sean for the Canadian Brew Channel and I am in Fort Lauderdale today and I have here a Hollywood, what's it called? <laughs> Mango. Mango IPA. This is a local beer in uh, Fort Lauderdale. So I'm going to try this out and see how it is. Cheers. That is really good. It's, uh, it's Got that bitterness of the IPA, which is really good. And you can smell a little bit of mango, but surprising enough, I can taste the mango here, but it's delicious. Man, uh, it's a local craft brewer in this area. I don't know where they are. We're just here for today. Uh, we're, we're going out of Fort Lauderdale on a cruise. So all the different islands we're gonna go to, I am gonna do the beers of that region and uh, put them up on my channel and it should give me about I'd say six videos so here's Sean signing off in Fort Lauderdale with my beer thank you cheers oh this is so delicious hi everybody it's uh, Sean from the Canadian Brew Channel I am in Aruba today it's uh, beautiful out here rained a little bit but it's 80 degrees basically all day today I am uh, I've got a beer here uh, it's made by Balashi, and this is a Pilsner. Uh, it's a local brewery here. Um, I'm gonna taste this, see what I think about it. Oh, that is delicious. That is a nice Pilsner. It's smooth, crisp, clean. Almost has that flavor of um, that ricey kind of aroma on it too. I don't know if they're using saws, pops in this, but it uh, it definitely is a smooth filter. Yep, brewed in Aruba, so it's, it's a very good beer. If you're ever in Aruba, you definitely want to try this too. They have a second one, also brewed by Balashi, and it is called Chill. And they say that this is their equivalent of Corona. It's a little lighter than Corona actually. It has the lime and it's, it's a little hard to tell if it's similar to Corona or not, but it, it, it smells just like you would get on a Corona. It's a little lighter though. It's uh, trying to see what the alcohol content is. I don't even think it says what the content is on here. Oh yeah, it is. I think, if I have my glasses on, <laughs> it's 5%. So it's a little stronger than a Corona. Uh, Corona Extra is, I believe, 4%. Anyways, uh, if you're ever in Aruba, here's your two beers that you want to try out from the local brewery. So this is Sean, signing off from Canadian Brew Channel. Have a nice day. I'll see you at the uh, next island. Hey, everybody. It's Sean from Canadian Brew Channel, and I am in uh, Curaçao. So it, you might call it Caraco, but it's Curaçao. And it's one of the islands. Uh, it's actually near St. Lucia. It's also near uh, Aruba. And today I'm gonna try out their local beer here. Rion, it's actually not made here. They don't have a place to make beer in Carousel. They actually make it in St. Lucia. But this is the closest I can get to do a review. So here we go. It's got a little bit of a, a malty, bit, not much hops to it at all. And I believe this is supposed to be not an ale. I think it's supposed to be a lager. Doesn't really have a lot of information on this uh, beer bottle itself. Cheers. Mm. Very uh, multi flavored. Has a little bit of a slight caramel on it. Fades away pretty clean. I think it's very lightly hops. I don't know what kind of hops they would use in this beer. Um, I'll have to go on the internet when I get back home and read more about this. Maybe I'll put a description in the bottom of it. But 
this is where I am right now. It's Curacao, Sao, Curacao, and uh, trying their Brion delicious beer. It's uh, not heavily uh, carbonated. It's probably about 2.2 carbonation. Yeah, I'm really not picking up almost any hops at all in this. It's a four and a half percent. It's a light beer, I guess. Um, a lot of the islands are in Caribbean islands as well. They like to have their own drinks that are kind of like a Corona. So that's why I picked this one because it's not like a Corona at all. It's got a little bit of body to it, but it's very light. You could probably put a lime in this and drink it like a Corona. But yeah, it's uh, it's not too bad if you uh, if you're ever in Curacao and you want to try what they call their local beer, which doesn't mean it's made here. There we are, free on. All right, next time you're gonna see me, I'll be on the island of, where am I going next? <laughs> bon Air. And uh, I'll do the beer review there after that. This will be a video series of different beers I'll put up on my channel as soon as I get home, put this all together. So thanks for watching this guy, it's, uh, Sean signing off. Please uh, hit subscribe and the bell so you can see when I get my next videos out. Cheers. Hey everybody, it's Sean from the Canadian Brewing Channel and uh, today I'm actually in St. Lucia. Uh, but I'm first going to start with a beer that is Carib, it's from Trinidad. And um, I've never been to Trinidad yet, but it's actually, they have this beer on this island. So I'm going to start with that first. So this here is a premium lager, it's 5.2%. So we're going to try this out. You can have a glass this time. Oh, and it's starting to rain out here <laughs> in St. Lucia. It's uh, 9.30 in the morning, so I'm on holiday, so I can have a beer at 9.30. It's a nice, clean pour. It's, oh, it has, it has a nice smell to it, too. Very lightly hops. Highly carbonated. Oh, that is really good. This is delicious. <laughs> this is a nice lager. Um, holds on a little bit on your palate at the finish, but then it just passes. Um, this is a very good job. They, this is one of the main beers they sell here on the islands is uh, Carib. Um, it's really starting to rain here hard now. <laughs> good thing we're under an umbrella. We got a bit of a storm coming here, but hey, I'm still going to review my beers. So uh, It is crisp and clean. So Carib. Goes backwards. Uh, I'm gonna have to actually uh, cut this a little bit short if we get too much rain coming in here. But here I am, Sean, B and Brew Channel, and I'm just trying all the different beers we were on the island. And uh, Carib is very good. Uh, I'd suggest it if you're out in the island area to ask for Carib, and it's made in Trinidad. I'll talk to you in a bit when this rainstorm stops because I'm gonna do another one of my brews. Thanks. See ya. Hey everybody, it's Sean from the Canadian Brew Channel again, and uh, here I am in St. Lucia, actually it's Castrius, St. Lucia, and I am reviewing my second beer uh, by Piton, and this is Piton Gold. This one is 6.5%, also a lager, and it, uh, this is called a Mystic Mountain Brew. The last review I just did on the other Piton Lager was a little more on the light watery side didn't have a lot to it so I thought let's try the uh, higher alcohol content um, I'm hoping that it doesn't just have more alcohol it has a little more flavor but it is their Piton Gold so we're now going to try that all right and by the way I am at the beer and lounge cocktail beer and lounge and cocktail I guess it's called if you get to this port, it's the only place that you're going to be able to get anything uh, for, 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 uh, for beer or booze. And it's just this nice little place that has like seven or eight tables. Uh, so if you want to have a beer just as you get back on the boat, or like me, be at like 9.30 in the morning having a beer only because we have an afternoon uh, excursion. I don't have time to come back and do this. I'm doing it now. So I'm going to smell this. It adds a lot more nose to it. I can smell hoppy. Uh, esters of not quite a floral like the other one had more earthy it's a little darker 
in, in color. This one's a premium, so it's a little more expensive, but whatever. It's the same size, 275 milliliter. It's a smaller beer. Cheers. Yeah, it's much better. It um, has a bit of a caramel taste to it, but there's body to it. Uh, still, the head retention is very light on this. Um, Carbonation is not really high. It's probably 2.0, 2.2, but it's a lager, so that's what you would expect. Uh, I prefer this one over the just the regular Piton lager beer. It's a Piton premium, so it obviously means that it's a you know higher end beer. Pulls onto your palate a little bit. A little bit of bitterness at the end. It it's it's kind of strange that my the bitterness is on the side of your tongue to the back. I'm getting it almost sitting in my mouth, not just on my tongue. I can feel it all around my mouth. It's it's different. It's, it's not too bad. I would actually. I'd say that you want to try Tom Gold. If you're in uh, St. Lucia, probably any of the ports have it. We're just on a cruise right now, so I'm trying to get to all the, the different beers in the islands. And uh, once I get this on the, when I get home, these are all going to go up on the channel. These are all going to be in a playlist. And I'm trying to keep them short, under four minutes, so that uh, it doesn't get too boring. But I would say this. I would definitely say thumbs up to try this beer. Very good. And uh, that's all I have today to say because uh, it's like quarter to 10, 10 o'clock in the morning and I'm on my third beer and going with the strongest beer. So I gotta get back on the ship and have something to eat before I fall off the boat. So this is Sean signing off for the Brew Channel. Cheers, thanks for watching.